So of the six uh, importers um, that are subject to, to the comments of Ms O'Connell, either they've been prosecuted or they've had their licences withdrawn, um, how many of the 50 would have been involved, would it take to service 30% of the market? Is it 16.6 of them or? Senator, if I could just um, contextualise it. So in terms of the process of, of how prawns uh, were coming into the country prior to the 9th of January, there were essentially three core steps in the process. The first was a document assessment, uh, and that was undertaken by a team out of a separate team um, out of our assessment services group. Uh, they were checking that the, do the, the documentation provided complied with regulatory requirements. That's a small team of four or five. Then we have the, the inspectors who actually go out and, and do the physical inspection, um, send the samples off for testing. When those test results come back, the results go to another team, uh, independent of, of that inspection group, who then have, a, have a, a, a check and balance approach to ensuring that only those consignments that are negative are actually released. So we have um, a distributed model that tries to make sure that no one individual has complete control over the, the inspection No, no, but, 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 but just and, and to again, answer your, no, let's, let's move a bit bit more quickly. We do have individuals who put on a big pair of gum boots and they go into a car room facility and they point to a box or this is what they're supposed to do. It's taken down, they take a sample, they deal with it in the appropriate fashion, they leave the facility. Whatever happens next we'll explore later. Is that correct? That's the, correct. Yeah. So how many of those people are there? You, I've, I've formed the view 50. 50. Right. And do they watch the seals being broken? Sorry. Uh, Senator, the, the, well, the, in, in terms of the seals intact model, that was applied to a targeted group of importers during uh, Operation Cat Eye last year yeah. uh, and then was rolled out more broadly to all uh, prawns from the 9th okay, of January. Okay, so these 50 men and women, and they are men and women, I That's imagine. That's correct, Senator. So um, do, do, do I have my plants? Am, am I going back to the same importer's facility or the same storage facility each time? Uh, depending on the location, so in the smaller locations, we, such as in Adelaide or... or, or no, let's uh, stick or, with these big suckers, eh? So with, with, the, no, with so the big cities, the, the inspector does not no, choose... We, we can go backwards or we can go forwards. So, so, so the inspector does not does not choose who they go to visit. In fact, we did quite an exhaustive analysis looking at all of the test, you know, 2,000 plus test results, all of the prawns that were found were, were released from biosecurity control and subsequently found to be positive. So I don't have a beat. I don't have a beat. I don't go back to the same producer because I know where I'm going. I, I, you may because, be assigned. Because be careful with this because we're, we're, whereas we may have had six or eight people not doing their job, the answer to this could determine all 50 of them weren't doing their job. Senator, right? you, may, you may be assigned to the same facility on a number of occasions. Do you know that? Do, I, do, do, do we know that? Have we yes. Got, we've got that data? Yes. Well, then answer this question for me. So you, are we agreed that this couldn't happen without a failure of this frontline security? Senator, for all the work we've done and, and going to Mr O'Connell's opening statement about the analysis that we have done on what our staff did, where they did it, did it the, cooperate, the, the work uh, that, that uh, we're doing to support the Ackley investigation, there is no instance that I'm aware of where an inspector did not do what was required of them as per the instruction Ms. Vivian materials. sat just about where you are and said that there was, in not, my words, not hers, that the, the inspectors hadn't done their job, so that, some well, of them. Well, hold on. No, before, before you answer, I mean, that's an extraordinary statement, right? Mm. An extraordinary yes. statement. So how did these hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of infected prawns get through if your officers were all doing their job. You've got no evidence that they weren't doing their job, right? Yeah. Senator, what I said was that I have no evidence that the, that the inspectors were not following the required procedure or the required instructions. All right, so let's there. go to that. Then we've got one of two instances here. Your procedures that had been designed for them to follow is solely responsible for this catastrophic failure of biosecurity. Senator, we've heard from, from various uh, officers at the table here that there are a range of factors that have contributed. So we have heard about... And this is one of them. We have heard about misdeclaration. We have heard about partial or full substitution no, of no, consignments. No, 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 but no, there are no, a range so of... Hold on. You can't, you no, can't, no, drop, no, you can't drop this chestnut out. So there is a testing regime governed by the IRA, correct? That's correct, Senator. Correct. Anyone can contribute here, including everyone to the back wall. 
there's an IRA, and if that is applied as designed, we should have a tolerance of 5% of infected prawns out there at, at worst. At worst, Mr Chapman? At worst, yeah. We've got 40%. So you, sir, uh, if you want to take the burden of the question, need to tell us how the other 35% got out. Now, the explanations, you've just broadened it. It may be that the IRA is so flawed it was never going to achieve the objective of 95% clearance. That's one explanation. It was so flawed it was only ever going to give us a 60% result based on this data here. So someone has to explain to me. And then where I found your statement so extraordinary is we've had evidence from your colleagues who talked about people being presented with samples that they didn't randomly take themselves. Now, was, was, was that allowable? I could, that was an option. I could ring Fred. Fred, I'm coming down. Can you get me out 10 samples on the formula? Was that evidence given to this committee not correct? So the evidence on the 28th that staff were handed samples of prawns, from the investigations that we have done since, staff have been handed samples of prawns. And that is in the context that yeah. they have selected the prawns that they want that they require to be sampled. So when you've got 2,000 or more cartons in a consignment, and because of the work health and safety requirement that we place on our staff, they quite legitimately asked the approved arrangement staff to get the box, bring them the box that they have identified. And that, that, was, that was the protocol that you had for them to do their job? That's correct, Senator. And, and, and there was never a risk assessment done that might suggest that Freddie's going to bring, they're going to bring you know, anyone but Fred out, they're going to bring clean prawns? I mean... So an explicit requirement in the instructional material prior to the 9th of January and in the updated material post the 9th of January is that the officer was to select the sample. There is no ambiguity in relation to that requirement that was placed on right. staff. So are you telling me now that officers did select every sample? To the best of my knowledge, Senator, I've not... I've not been presented with a case where an officer was not presented with a sample. No, no, there's, no, no, there's a difference. You don't know. But, but how do you explain this, sir? Someone, Mr Quinlevin, you better take over here. Someone okay. needs to explain this because this, is, this is starts to get back to, you know, arse protecting in terms of who done what to whom. No, I think, I think there's a bit of a misunderstanding here. What Mr no, Padavan is saying is that the... Ms Vivian what, made it very clear last time. And she came out and said, these officers have been retrained or counselled, I can't remember the word, sitting right there where, where Mr... I'm sorry, Palmer? Pat, 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 Mr. Is sitting Let's now. try and clarify the air if you think you... I, I think uh, what, what Mr Padavan's saying is that the responsibility on the inspector was to select the box of the sample that they wanted, not to physically retrieve it. So, you're saying there was no evidence of anyone not doing their job. That's what started us getting fired. Well, I'm just um, breaking it down to this specific part of it. And as I understand what he just said, which was my understanding, was their responsibility is to let, select the sample and then the importer or whoever's the agent at the approved premises, their job is to physically retrieve the sample in accordance with the instruction that they well, were given. Well, they're, they're, they're present for this. They're, yeah. They're, they're, yeah, that's correct. Then, yeah. then how, how, does, how unlucky are these 50 men and women. Seriously. Guys, listen. This is, this, is, this, is where we, this is where the hot and the cold air are coming together. Let's just get through this. It's a painful question and the answer is painfully clear. You, this can't happen. There's only two explanations for this. One is these procedures you had in place were never going to deliver the IRA result. Mr Chapman, Go your hardest in, in, uh, in contradicting that. It was never going to deliver it, and that's one big problem. Mm -hmm. Or the people did not stick to the script mm. about what their frontline duties are, and that resulted in this, and that's a big problem. So you get to choose, unless someone here's uh, got uh, the ability to give me uh, option C. Yep, thank you. Option C. Preliminary screening from the figures that you gave us I can't recall where the figure of 72 came from, but on preliminary screening of the 72, 18 were positive and 54 were negative, which is roughly 35% were positive and 65% were negative. Then you subjected that 
number of 54 being 65% to further higher level of screening at AL and of those that on preliminary screening got through because they were negative, in fact, 40% of them were indeed positive. You had that level of false positives on preliminary screening. Am I not correct in my assumption that it has been a failure of the sensitivity of preliminary screening, allowing 40% of effective false negatives that has caused our problem? Um, Senator, that, uh, that would attribute for part of it. Yes, I would agree with that. A big part of it, wouldn't it? Well, all uh, of it. All of it. 